Hello everyone, and this is Have Faith, Let It Begin. My name is Angel. I want to start off again by saying thank you to Gabby Santana for an amazing introduction to our show, Tested. Check out her website, excuse me, I should say her YouTube channel. It's Gabby Santana. Don't forget everybody, we are available on all platforms. A lot of people have been emailing me saying, I get you on Facebook, but I don't know how to get you on iTunes or on Podcast Player or you know, it's very simple. It's in the Google Store or the, your um, App Store, and you can download us there. And uh, if you have any questions, continue to email me. I will send you the links. I hope everybody enjoyed the extra episode this past Saturday. Yes, I'll be honest, I messed up. It was supposed to be this Monday's episode. But you know what? Hey, God expected us to have that out first and foremost, and it, out it came. So I'm happy about that. I want to talk to you today about a couple things that have been running through my mind uh, that I thought was just something that we should touch base on. And that is the phrase, be yourself. You know, over the holiday weekends, you know, you get to, you tend to go out and uh, you mingle, you go to parties and, you know, and I think that one of my biggest areas of um, opportunity is I have to learn to adapt a little bit better to different crowds, different surroundings. Um, I think that also applies in our everyday life, especially our work environment. Um, one of the things that I constantly get questioned on is um, when you're someone like me, who's a, I'm a very outgoing person, I have uh, a lot of energy, and I tend to be you know, overly happy, Um, But that's just who I am. If I go to a place and I seem a little bit quiet, people think I'm either upset or I'm not having a good time. That's not the case. Sometimes I feel that being a little bit reserved um, is easier for me to, you know, blend in. And then once I feel a little bit comfortable, then I start to come out of my shell. Um, I think a lot of times for some of us, we get so involved in our, we'll call it a hermit, um, you, you're inside of that shell and you never want to come out, you know, and that's the thing that's so important to come out of. You have to be able to feel comfortable and, and, and be yourself. You have to be able to say, you know what, this is me, this is who I am, and I'm proud of myself. Um, when I was um, in around 2005 or in six. I was very, very shy, believe it or not, uh, but I was shy in the sense of my, my faith. Um, I didn't want to accept the fact that my friends um, weren't always in the same, they weren't walking the same path as I was. Um, they, I didn't have a problem with that. They were great people, and I say past tense because unfortunately, we had a falling out, which would be in a uh, later episode about losing friends. Um, maybe the next, maybe the next uh, day, uh, we'll go on that. But I was a, I was afraid to uh, to express my love for God. I was afraid to express who I will really was, and that held me back. And for two years. I didn't allow people to see my entire self. If I had to say from a percentage standpoint, I, I gave everybody about 75% of me, which in my opinion is not good. You know, you want to give at least 100%, at least 95. You know, sometimes we don't feel 100%, but at least give it 90. Let's just say 90 then. Well, we'll go with 90. And it took a long time. It took for me to adjust and to believe that it's okay to have a relationship with God and relationship with people around you. Um, And you know what? Sometimes they may not have the same faith. They may not have the same uh, walk, but you don't judge them. Um, And you you certainly don't try to, and I hate putting it in this terms, but I I will because we do have a lot of listeners that, that don't walk. Um, the same uh, walk that I do, but they listen because they're motivated by our talks. So I'm going to say it this way. 
you don't try to go out and recruit people because you know that's the thing about faith and religion that a lot of people get um, mixed up on and, and you know we're not in the recruiting business um, God calls upon all of us to act in his image to be in his image he created us in his image so our actions are what speak louder than words our actions are what make people want to eventually walk or follow us uh, and, and become a part of the faith and the joy that we have for one another. So that's something that I wanted to point out. But back to the fact that you have to learn to be yourself. Do not go into your workforce and allow people to bully you and move you, move, you know, push you around. Uh, you know, you have to prove to people. But you have to prove to yourself that you are more than willing. You are capable. You are self-efficient. You need to be proud of the person that your parents created. Proud of the person that God made you. And that falls on any category you can think of. Whether it's believing that you you know believing in yourself when you look in the mirror and you say you know what I like what I see and a lot of you um, have expressed to me you know Angel I I get up in the morning and I'm just not happy with who I am okay I understand I do I really do uh, my entire life I've always been a little bit heavy um, and you know thank God for me I was always healthy. Um, yeah, I had a couple surgeries there, here and there that have come up my way and, you know, and a couple little things that, you know, that of course life can throw a curve on. And if you hear my signal light, by the way, again, I'm driving to work. Um, you have to believe in yourself. You have to believe that you are a beautiful person. And not because I just say so. You know, people say that all oh, these celebrities, they get on TV and they're saying, you know, oh, you have to be this and that. And, and it could be a publicity stunt. They have, they have just as many problems as we do. They have the same insecurities that we all do. Nobody in this world is perfect. Not even God. We are all one body. We all have to believe in ourselves. Look in the mirror tomorrow when you wake up and ask yourself what do you see and look past any insecurity that you've ever had and just say to yourself I am blessed to be who I am I am blessed to be on this earth I'm blessed to breathe the air that I breathe but I am even more blessed to share the talents and the gifts that God has presented me to others in this world. Remember that each and every day when you go out into the world. Remember that God made you in His image. Remember that God made you so that you can go out and change the world. And that could be one act of kindness. That could be a pay it forward. That could be one good compliment to somebody else. But remember, being yourself is being truthful to the person that you were made to be. So I challenge each and every one of you today, as you step out of your car, to walk into that office, walk into that classroom, walk into that building, and say, this is me. This is who I am. And this is the day that the Lord has made. Let me rejoice and be glad in it. Because this is me. Have faith. Let it begin.